What is going on everybody, Yvonne here. Now, as you guys have probably heard, email marketing still remains one of the most efficient ways to nurture you guys' leads. And Go High Level is still one of the most efficient platforms for doing so just because it houses everything under one roof. Ranging from SMS to social media to email marketing, everything lives under one roof and that way the whole customer journey is pretty clear. And with that information coming in, all of our outreach, especially the one within email marketing, is gonna be a lot more tailored to the customer. So today, we're gonna walk you guys through on how to set up and optimize you guys' email marketing campaign within high level. We're going to go over on how to actually create that campaign, get started with your guys' list, segment, and actually create the content and the visual that the people are seeing. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, once you guys have your high level account open, make sure you guys are in your sub account section. And that way, everything from the marketing side, we can go ahead and see right over here. So let's go ahead and click on the marketing and make our way to email where we're going to go ahead and select campaigns. Now, once we select the campaigns, there's going to be two different options, email campaigns and workflow campaigns. And they're going to be completely different However, for the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on email campaigns. Now, before you start creating your email campaign, here's what's going to be the most important part. It's going to be the people who are actually going to be marketing to. Because again, you can go ahead and create that campaign, launch it, activate it, but it's not going to be any good if there's not going to be any people on it. So prior to us doing anything, make sure to go to your guys' contact section right over here and we need to create those smart lists. Now, what is a smart list? You might be asking yourself. What I mean by smart list is that we don't want to be sending email marketing, that's going to be the exact same for every single group that we're going to be sending it to. For example, let's say we're marketing to lawyers or finance professionals or doctors. All those marketing campaigns are going to be a lot of different, right? Because they're going to be two completely different fields. And the whole purpose of the CRM is to house information in there. And that way, all that personalization tokens, like their name, the company they work for, their email, their favorite color, whatever it may be, is going to be used within our email marketing campaign. So if you guys have been using another platform or an Excel sheet of some sort, make sure to get it from there, export it out. And that way, hover over here, we can go ahead and import the contacts in. And once those contacts are in, what we can go ahead and do is apply further filters here, like the business name, company name, email, first name, last name, tag, you guys get the point. And that way we can go ahead and have the list a lot more personalized to whatever we're going to be marketing to. Just like I said, if we're going to be marketing to a lawyer versus a doctor, those things are going to be completely different. And if you guys want, and I highly recommend this, but to ensure that you guys only have to do this one time, once like, let's say a form has been filled out, or appointment has been booked, make sure that that workflow can go ahead and create the lead that goes into that specific smart list. You can go ahead and do that with an automation. And that way for all the leads that are coming into your guys' platform in the future, they're going to be automatically organized for you. The way that I would personally do it is every single time a lead comes in, have a specific tag being added to it. And that way the contacts are going to be automatically put into their specific place. And sorry, folks, this is not going to be a workflow video. However, we do have other videos on the channel that talk about workflows and exactly how to use them. So make sure to check those out. But back to email marketing. Let's say we have our contacts in there. They're going to be in our smart list. They're going to be ready to go. What do we do from there? Well, we have to make sure that as more people come in through the door, we can actually go ahead and collect and put them into that specific list as well. And the way that we do that is through a funnel. Now to access that, let's go ahead and go to our sites here, click on funnels, and let's go ahead and create a new funnel here. And let's go ahead and utilize the new funnel AI feature to help us out. Press continue. And we're going to stick with lasso skincare, industry skincare. Boom. Let's press next. We're looking to generate more leads and the content should feel friendly. Let's go ahead and generate it and check it out. The AI is doing the heavy lifting for us. I remember back in my day when we had to do every single one of those things manually. So it's really nice having AI do the hard work for me. Boom. Check it out. It actually made a very basic landing page for us. That's of course not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a very good start for us to kind of modify and build from there. So let's go ahead and go back to our application. And on top of that funnel, we can also go ahead and input a form on there. So let's go to builder. Let's create new. And from there, that's going to feed us more information that's going to go inside of our email marketing campaign. Let's keep it nice and simple. First name, last name, phone number, and email. But if you guys want to add more qualities to it, you can go ahead and drag and drop them into here. Pretty straightforward. Let's press save. And remember that funnel that we just made, you can go ahead and input that form onto there. And that way, every single time a person goes to that funnel, they can go ahead and see you guys this awesome form, fill it out. And those people are going to be added into you guys' email marketing campaign. Perfect. So let's go back here and go to the main event, the email marketing campaign. So let's go back to campaigns, click on create campaign. Let's press blank and let's select the basic design editor, which is going to be drag and drop. I don't know about you guys. I'm not a big coder myself. So I always go with a drag and drop option because it's really easy to use. Press select. And if you guys have ever used any type of drag and drop editor before, they all kind of work similar. So this one is pretty straightforward. You just drag whatever you guys want on the page and it's going to be on there. Pretty straightforward. And if you want to add more things like text right under this video, boom, just add it, modify whatever you want it to be 
be. You guys are ready to go. Of course, you would make this look nicer before you send it out. Campaign name is going to be test campaign. Let's press send or schedule. And from here, we can go ahead and select the exact email where it's going to be coming from, the sender name, the subject line. We can go ahead and have AI help with that. And you see these little tokens right over here. These are going to be really cool because they're going to allow you guys to personalize whatever is being sent out. So, and I don't have to tell you guys twice, but if it's going to be very bland, generic, like subject line, no one's opening it. There's so much trash out there. And like, even myself, I have like 80,000 unopened emails on my like iCloud email. And I guarantee you that most people are also like that, where they have thousands of unopened emails in their inbox. So the moral of the story is to make sure that you guys are using these personalized tokens, like for example, the first name to make sure that whatever you guys are sending is going to be personalized to them. Because again, what's the point of having all this information inside of the CRM if you guys are not using it? And let's scroll down here and boom, remember this? Send to our smart list. This is going to be really crucial here because you guys are probably going to be marketing to different people in different instances. So make sure that each campaign is going to be personalized to each specific list because it's going to be tied to its own creative, a specific list, specific verbiage, right? Make sure it's all personalized there or no one's opening it. Right now in the world of the internet, there's so much stuff out there. So the main goal here is to stand out and this is going to be the best way for us to do so. And if we want, we can go ahead and track our link clicks, UTM tracking, or even add tasks for folks whenever they interact with your guys' campaign. And remember that all of this can be traced back to workflow. So I'd play around with those as well. And the other important thing, whenever you guys are making anything email marketing related, make sure you guys test it for both desktop and mobile, because that's where a majority of you guys' emails are going to be open or at least seen on their phone. So make sure it's going to be optimized for mobile as well, because nobody wants to read like a paragraph that's going to be 20 pages long and have a picture at the bottom of it. People want something to be nice and simple. And if you guys aren't sure, put it through an A-B test, because that way you guys can see what is working and what is not. And if you guys want to see the performance of a specific email marketing campaign, all you got to do is just go to statistics right over here and you're able to track exactly on how much revenue you're getting, the average order value, order rate, total orders, that sort of thing. And if you want to see further, there can also be information within a reporting tab as well. Again, and all of this in front of me is demo data for now. So I'll just go ahead and customize this to whatever you guys are looking for. And that way you guys can go ahead and see specific results from you guys' campaigns and compare them against one another. And I know I said I'm not going to dive into this, but I want to give you guys a little taste of what automations can do for you guys' email marketing efforts. So let's go ahead and go to automations here, press create workflow, create one from scratch. Now remember that funnel that was created. Let's say somebody actually fills it out, right? Or whatever happens, what do we do from there? So let's go ahead and add a trigger to it. So let's go ahead and press form, form has been submitted, save trigger, boom. Now every single time the form is submitted, something's going to happen. And from there, here's how we're going to tie them in into our email marketing campaign. We're going to go ahead and add a tag to them, right? And that's going to be the action name, doctor tag, doctor, boom. That is going to be the new tag for us. Save, boom. That's how they're going to be added to that specific smart list. And once they're there, we can go ahead and send an email to them. And again, it can be from so-and-so, subject line so-and-so, and the template or the email can also be the exact same thing you guys already made, or it can be hi, yada, yada. Boom, and you guys are ready to rock. And that's how things can be automatically done for you guys. So just by adding people into that specific list, whenever you guys are sending out those email marketing sequences on one go, it can just reduce you guys' workload a lot. And for example, if somebody fills out a form, we can also go ahead and add them to a tag and from there send them another email that can be different from that email sequence. Again, the world is your oyster when it comes to high level because everything, and I mean everything, ranging from email, SMS, calling, is tied to one platform. So it's really easy to follow along. So if somebody is on your guys' platform, somebody's embedding the cards, somebody's interacting with your guys' email marketing campaign, what I would personally do is create a workflow for that exact same thing. And that way, we're going to be actively nurturing throughout the whole process. And if you guys are unsure on how to create that workflow, all you got to do is click right over here and describe to AI exactly what type of workflow you guys want to create. This is going to make your guys' lives a lot easier. And if you guys are unsure if it's working or not, go ahead and test that workflow to make sure it's all running smoothly. And then from there on, you're off to the races. And if you guys want to check out High Levels platform completely for free, just check out the link in the description. Once you guys have clicked on the link, make sure you just press that 14 day free trial and you guys are going to be ready to go. Go ahead and type in your guys' company name. So I'm just going to go ahead and input test company, first name, last name, your phone number, and the email address that you guys want to use. From there, once we go to step number two, go ahead and select the plan that you guys want, either the starter plan or the limited plan. I recommend the limited plan to those folks that are running like a lot of sub accounts. So think if you're an agency and you're running it for a lot of business, 
business, that's where unlimited plan makes sense. But if you guys are just running it for you guys' own operation, the starter plan is going to be more than enough. Enter you guys' payment information once the trial is over. And remember, you guys are not going to get charged for the first 14 days and you can just play around within the platform. It's a really nice feature that High Level does and there's going to be a lot of training material as well on this channel and on the web as well. So if you guys do ever get stuck on something, there's going to be someone to help. And there you folks have it. That was an overview over High Level's email marketing capabilities. As you guys have seen, email marketing can be a super powerful way to nurture guys' prospects and to make sure we do it in a personalized way. If we go ahead and utilize the smart list, personalization tokens, and those automations, the whole nurturing process can be a lot easier for us and it can have way better results. And if you guys are unsure if it's working or not, just go ahead and go into your guys' reporting tab. And from there on, you can see all the results and what people are clicking on and what people are not. And if you guys are maybe not getting the best result you want, just go ahead and put them in an A-B test. And that way you can see different versions and see which one is going to be better for us. For businesses nowadays, having digital exposure is going to be huge, especially from the email marketing standpoint. Because realistically, every single person has an email nowadays. So you want to make sure that you guys are actively nurturing your guys' customers and your guys' leads in your guys' funnels. And that's why platforms like High Level are so great, just because they don't only have email marketing aspects of things, but also have SMS, automations, social media, pretty much anything from the marketing aspect you can think of. And it all connects back to a CRM to have all you guys' leads and you guys' active customers all in one place. And as I said before, if you guys do want to try out High Level's platform completely for free with no risk, check out the link below down in the description. Remember that on this channel, we make videos regarding different tools and platforms to help you guys start and grow your guys' business. So if you guys did get some value out of this video or found it helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.